What's up, guys? We're back with the showdown live. Uh, I'll be honest, the Sun teams for the last couple of lives didn't go so hot for me. You know, I'll give myself some credit. I don't have a lot of experience using Sun. Uh, I found it very fun. It's very fast paced, cool play style. I actually prefer offense if I'm being honest, so I expected I would do a little bit better at it. And I think I did okay, but as anyone who watched could attest to, uh, it was mostly just some bad predictions, which again, I'm, I think I'm normally not bad at. So it was kind of a shell shock to my core there that I kept getting rock fell those Corviknight swap ins. I had nothing to answer it with. But regardless, we're on to the next thing. Mel Metal is being uh, suspect tested the next two weeks. So I thought, what better way to uh, try it out, see what my own opinion is on it, because really, I've played almost nothing with the guy, and I have no opinion myself. So I want to just get some experience and play, and as I was saying, what better way to learn that by using him firsthand and making my own opinion, I guess. Uh, and to allow that, CROPR sent another awesome team, uh, a balanced team this time. He normally likes his very offensive, almost hyper-offensive teams, but this time he kindly sent some balance my way. Um, I'd almost say looking at it, it almost feels like a bulky attacking team to me. But really, like when you look at the core of two wish passers, uh, a slack off and a rooster, and it, it's really not quite a bulky offense, but it's got that kind of feel with me, especially the way you work Mel Metal in. Uh, Mel Metal, of course, his defensive synergy is incredible, even uninvested like this guy is. Uh, I recently made a video on how to answer Cloyster uh, and some good defensive counters for him, and really, this guy's about as good as it gets. A mono steel typing destroys Shell Smash Cloyster. And uh, his defensive and HP stats are more than enough to shut him down right there. And there's a Mel Metal. I feel like we're going to be seeing a lot of this guy. Um, Rotom is going to be critical for dealing with that guy, plus the Ferrothorn, of course. But that uh, Excadrill is going to put a lot more pressure on me. I'll have to keep the Mandibuzz Buzz healthy so I can swap into it a lot when he comes in versus my Excadrill. Um, an early concern I have with this team, uh, just when I was looking at it earlier, is it's got next to zero speed control. Not even some priority. Uh, the Rotom isn't Scarfed. No Scarfer, no one really to deal with speed control at all. And especially setup sweepers in general, like a nasty plot high dragon would really just tear through this team. So I'm gonna have to be pretty careful with how I play this. Um, if it doesn't work out, I might get in a Scarf uh, Ditto. That's about as good speed control as you can get. Anti-sweeping, about as good as you can get too. So we'll see, I'm gonna give it a shot first. Um, once again, CRPR is a far better uh, team builder than I am. So I am not one to uh, place any judgment, but let's look at the lead matchup. My opponent's been very patient thus far as I gab on and on. Uh, Vaporeon already looks great against these two. Melmetal does not have much special bulk, so it's great versus this guy too. Not good versus these two, which are, if I'm being honest, the more likely leads. Um, this guy can go for the fast U-turn, uh, try to catch my hip out on maybe going for Stealth Rocks with his own Draco Meteor, and or he can go for his own Hazards here with uh, this guy. Maybe he's going to go for Rock right at the gates, and I would also set up his Sand Offense with uh, Excadrill. So I want something that answers really all three of these guys, which I'm not sure I can get. Rotom isn't abysmal. I can toxic this guy, I can overheat this guy, and if it's this one, then I have a decent swap into mana buzz. I'll probably U-turn on me if that happened. But, um, Vaporeon answers so many, so I like that too, but I think one of these two is too likely for me to go with that safely. Uh, so I'll go Rotom. We get the Dragapult. Okay, the fast U-turner comes out. I should have known. Um, let's see. I If he is going to U-turn, he's probably going to this Excadrill. So I'm actually... He could Draco Meteor right now as a thing. That's the worst part. But I'm gonna be surprised if this guy's a Scarfer because it's his only speed control. Um, this might be dumb, but I feel like he's not Draco Meteoring turn one. Yeah, I'm sending it. I'm sending it. No! <laughs> okay, okay, he doesn't have much bulk. He's probably Scarf then. Uh, we do almost equivalent amount of damages. And I've got two Scarfers. That's actually not the worst trade in the entire world, you know? Um, okay, uh, I'll go to... Mandibus is going to lose me a lot of pressure. If he isn't, the damage is, there's no way that specs. Um, so he could even be like a leftovers. No, he's not leftovers. He's revealed that. Uh, so I, I, I suspect Scarf. If he's going to Scarf, then he's probably going to swap into maybe hit Pout on here. So I'm going to go to this guy. Because of the Mel Metal. That is surprising. Um, okay, I'll Volt Switch out. I'm faster than him. I'm tempted to double down and Nasty Plot and then overheat him again because that's such a great threat. But um, Volt Switch should be enough to force... Uh, okay, he stays in. I, I don't know what I was going to say. I was going to say to force him to not substitute, but I'm faster and it's too weak. So I don't really know what I was going for there. Uh, CRPR has also kindly introduced uh, Hippowd onto this team. About as great of a Mel Metal counter as you're going to find. He's even got a Rocky Helmet, which means the double Iron Bash takes like 30%. So he's dealing more damage to himself than I am. Um, I don't know what he's going to go for here. He doesn't have a great answer to this Hippowdon. There's no way he's staying in. Like one Earthquake would 
rock him. Uh, okay, goes to this guy. I feel like this guy's probably a spiker. He might even go for um, Beach Seed right here if he's being a little greedy. Um, I tend to do a little bit of chip with this guy because I don't want to get Rotom in so early. This is tricky. This is tricky because if, if I go in on a Leech Seed, then it's really quite low all of a sudden. Um, Mel Metal also, if I can get in without the Leech Seed, would be handy. Uh, Earthquake's probably not going to do enough though because it's probably a more physical wall, if I'm being honest. I think I'm going to go to Fable and then Wish Pass something out. Those are the knockoff. That's a better play on his part. Uh, okay, if I want to lose something on this team, that's not the worst. I'm just going to let him get up Hazards, which is kind of sucky. Um, I don't have the greatest Hazard Control. I might end up defogging these later. Um, looking at people who get hit by it though, it's just these three. That's enough. That's enough for me to want to defog away the people that get hit by Spikes. Pokemon that get hit by Spikes, rather. Um, but when you think of these teams as closely as I do, they're really just people to you. I'm, I'm not a people person, I'm a Pokemon person. Um, so yeah, I'll get Rotom in for free. I wonder if he'll predict that with a Leech Seed. He doesn't. Okay, so now I get a free... I get Overheat on this guy if he stays in. I don't think there's a way in a million years he's staying in, though. I think he's going straight to... Ooh. If he goes to Excadrill and Overheat, he is crazy. And Powdon's even taking a lot. I think I like the Nasty Plot on the Clefable. Or I could Volt Switch and try to get my Metal in. That's much better. Yes, that is much better play. Okay, so we get Clefable in, uh, or we get Mel Metal in here. Um, he should be swapping. This guy's got just enough speed DVs to beat a minimum speed Clefable. Um, so I'm going to... Or I can just Thunder Wave that Ferrothorn. I feel like substituting is not going to get me much versus that guy. Yeah, I'm going to Thunder Wave him. Not like an enormous gain, but that's enough. Uh, I don't know what his next move is. Oh, I was going to knock off my Mandibus. I was going to get him in next, but that's pretty annoying. Um, I'll go to Clef again. I'll reset that same situation. Just for no other reason than I want everyone else to keep their items. I'll wish, pass. Um, so he's got a pretty defensive core of his own. Except he's got a real speedy uh, monsters here in the Sand Rush Excadrill and the Dragapult, of course. Uh, he's got all his hazards up. I'll have to get this off eventually. I'll teleport this time. He stays in. That's going to get my Rotom in again. That's a decently favorable position for me. Uh, I really... That last couple turns, if I'm being honest, was not well played. All I got off of that. I traded three layers of spikes for a paralyzed full health Ferrothorn. I mean, what's that getting me? So that was not ideal on my part. I guess I just didn't really consider how well the Ferrothorn answered my metal himself. You know, just just like my uh, hip out does with his rocky helmet, this guy does with his iron barbs. I did not want to start smacking on that. Um, I guess I'll nasty plot on the clef and he stays in. Is he gonna leech seed? He's gonna knock off. That kind of blows. But this overheat's gonna claim something. Like every time I get this guy in with an overheat, it's gonna be huge. And that's honestly not the end of the world as long as he eat Brock's off. So. We'll see, we'll see uh, how well I can play around that. He goes straight to Powdon. This guy's going to take a lot. Maybe he's really greedy for those rocks all of a sudden. And he lets it die. So me losing the, the uh, boots, completely fine. That completely pays off. He makes a really bad oversight. I guess he was expecting a Volt Switch. I don't know why I would Nasty Plot to Volt Switch though, especially with his team. He's got no swap in for it. Dragon Bolt probably would have died. So I think that was a massive mistake. Uh, why is this my first fan DM? You know, you always watch like... <laughs> I don't want to flex on everyone, but <laughs> that's that's so nice. Man, what an awesome little... I see, it's funny, you watch like a Blunder or Pokemon video and you kind of expect that stuff, but I have never even seen that before. Uh, okay, I'll Volt Switch out. Um, no, Metal's gonna take a lot all of a sudden. Um, Mandibuzz would be okay here. I could even get up a Defog, likely. Let's, let's, let's give that a whirl. Let's see how that works out. Uh, Wish Passes. He's probably sending that to, I guess, Dragapult, but, or his Melmetal. That's completely fine with me. I'm tempted to knock off, because that's who he should be going to here, but I, I, I think he's going to Melmetal, because he's the only one that needs the, the Wish Pass. Or he'll stay in uh, Moonblast, actually. But still, I'm defogging these hazards away. I don't know why I took so much time on that one. I can get a Brox easily. He cannot. Yeah, he does stay in. Uh, that is A-OK. -okay. I think I'll knock off, because I can stay in pretty safely here. And he might opt to swap here. Nope. Goes for that. Teleports out. So we lose that. We remove that thing's leftovers. Pretty handy. Um, Fable relies on that a lot, obviously. Finally gets in the Melmetal. Uh, Hippowdon's getting a little low, but not low enough that I'm worried about this. Does, I didn't know it did that much damage. Is he banded? 
That's incredible damage for a full defensive Powdon. Ban this thing. <laughs> Ban this thing. Ban this evil thing. Now, I don't have rocks. Oh, man. Oh, there's the same person peeping earlier. The fan club has grown. Join the movement. Um, Vaporeon is faster, and I can scald. That would invite that. No, I'm just gonna. Let's not get silly. Let's not. Let's not get silly. Let's see how much this does. Okay, it's probably spdef by that damage. I of course don't have any uh, special attack investment in this thing, but that's just so perilously little damage. Uh, I'm 1,000% expecting a wish here. Yep, we get that. He is going to his Ferrothorn now. I'm going to double out. The sand is getting annoying, but now there is no sand for the rest of the game, so the Excavate isn't quite so threatening. He was not far from... He was about one Sword Stance away from sweeping my team, especially with the Power on down. I shouldn't have let him die. I just thought he'd be a much better counter. Um, okay, goes for the Protect there. That was actually a good play. I'll reset the situation. Uh... I could just nasty plot it there, I suppose. This thing's not threatening me out. It's only got Moonblast, but I have this, this guy's got such a good matchup against my opponent. I'm trying to keep the healthy uh, pretty high. Uh, I don't want to substitute because then I'm just cutting my own health versus the Fair Thorn. I'll double bash this. Oh, he gets me. He gets me. How much is this going to do to me? 24%. Not the end of the world. Um, and I got the leftovers. Okay, you know what? That's not that's not so bad. Uh, I'll go to Rotom again. I can't let this guy get spikes up again. This is too sketchy. Um, although at this point, it's really only Melmetal and Vaporeon taking damage from that. But still, I want to keep these guys healthy. Uh, spikes coming through. Maybe Leech Seed. Goes for Clefable again. This guy has been giving me no respect whatsoever. No respect. Uh, protect. Protect. I know you're not Moonblasting. Protect. It's not going to drag a bolt. Protect? You're moon blasting. Alright, bro. Hold this overheat for me. Just real quick, hold this overheat. Hold it. Just hang on to that for me. Just, yeah, just hang on to that overheat for me. Do me a favor. That's the again on your protect, brother. I will be happy to do so. If he moon blasts, he's got me. My predictions have been getting a little weak, but <laughs> I'm hoping he doesn't have me that hard. Oh, he goes through it again. Okay, so he predicts my prediction. Well done, well done. Draco Meteor will kill, as we scouted it earlier. But if he's doing uh, Scarf damage, then my man has nothing to fear. If he U-turns, that would suck, because then he would get in uh, one of his Steel Tags for free. That would definitely be no bueno. But I'm expecting an attack. Yep, we get the attack. Now, I'm very tempted to do something besides Roost, like a U-turn, just to keep up that good momentum. Or I could just double. Double would also be good. Because I've got so many wish passes on this team. Normally, I, just, I would want to keep this guy healthy, so just so he's a no-brainer counter to Dragapult. But I want to keep him healthy. I want to keep him healthy. Who is he going to here? One of the Steel types. And then I can go to... Oh, boy. That actually... That extra is really scary for me right now already. Um, I'm, I'm U-turn. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I talked myself into it. Okay. That works out. Uh, we killed the Clef. I actually probably would have lived otherwise. Um, I think I'm going to go to this guy just to invite in the Ferrothorn. Uh, he might go for Excadrill, actually, but I don't think that would be such a great matchup for him. I'd be tempted to stay in if he did that. Uh, he should be going to Dragapult, though. Uh, well, I don't know. I'd probably live that, too. My HP is 440. Oh, my God. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with my opponent, because Ferrothorn loses you so much momentum. Um, plus, there's the 30% chance that you get nothing off with your Paralyzed, so that's pretty uh, scary. He does do it. I think that's probably what I've done in uh, his situation. I haven't even revealed Substitute yet. Um, in a pinch, I might even be able to beat him with Substituting on his uh, Leech Seed. But uh, This guy again, probably on the Spikes. I could go to Mandibuzz and get a free Roost stop, but I'm kind of just resetting that situation where I could lose momentum by him going to one of the Steel types. Um, I'm just trying to keep on the pressure right now. Got to root him on the spike. We haven't even gotten in Vaporeon right now, which is okay because I want to keep him healthy for that extra drill. It's more spadef than defense, but I think that Scald will surely be enough to uh, get his number. He goes Leech Seed. He predicts me there. Uh, does he got Protect? No, there's nobody's got Protect. Knock up would not be his only attack. Um, if he goes to Dragapult here, he doesn't have a great Fire type switch in. 
but it's low. Oh, this is such a difficult choice. Well, once again, I can always wish pass. If he goes to Dragapult, it's not going to take that much of the leech seed. Yeah, that was another misplay. That was another misplay, for sure. He should be U-turning, though. He should be U-turning. This time, I'm going to go to my Vaporeon. It's for Shadow Ball. Okay, wow, Vaporeon ate that up even better than I expected. To be fair, it's a Scarf, though. It is a Scarf. Uh, I'm going to get a Wish off to my... This worked out great. This worked out great. My Rotom, it's a net gain. Okay, okay. I'm not, I've said this about a lot of play styles, but I'm also not the greatest at balance, if I'm being honest. I'm normally like, my comfort zone is kind of like some sand offense and some like just general offense teams I think I'm a little bit better with. Um, oh, that's so close. Oh, it works out great though. Uh, and that Dragon Ball can't come in for free every time here. I'm doing it again. How many do I got? Oh, I'm really low. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's actually bad. Oh, I didn't recognize that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was so bad. <laughs> But yeah, anyways, I'm, I'm usually more used to like just kind of standard offenses, but balance is something that I've been struggling with this entire generation. I mean, kind of taking steps to work on it, uh, improve however I can. Uh, so let me get another wish off. His fair down, again, like it's a great defensive guy on my team. If this if this uh, Rotom dies, then I'm in big, big trouble. But um, he's losing so much momentum every time I get my own guys in. Uh, I bet Vaporeon could do okay here, actually. Yeah, again, I want to keep it healthy, but I got this Wish incoming. Um, what moves does Melmetal get? This is a good question. If this is a learning thing for Melmetal... Melobeta. <laughs> Wrong Pokedex there. Thunder Punch. Uh-oh. That did so much more already. Okay, but he's locked into that. I'll protect for the... Oh, he gets me again. This guy's totally getting me in the last little leg here. Um, okay, I'll go to Fable on the Leech Seed, and then I'll go to Rotom on the follow-up Spikes. Unless he makes a double to his own Melmetal. Melmetal's close to winning too. I think... If I can deal with Fair, if I can catch him with one Overheat. But my opponent knows this too. So much of this game is in the crux between the Rotom versus the Aerithorn. We're kind of dancing around it. Ah, oh, he gets me again. Okay, um, this is very bad. Why did he bring it in on Vaporeon, actually? I want to beat myself up for getting caught with that double switch, but like... Dang, okay. I guess he just totally got me, but that was a bit... Wild, okay. Good play, buddy. Uh, he should be Swords Dancing here, but I don't want to... I think I gotta go to this guy on a... in case he Swords Dances. Yeah, I'm hoping I can eat one EQ. Uh, very cocky protect. No! <laughs> I knew I could lose the game if he did that, but I thought, what what psychopath would do that? What psychopath would go for a fourth? I know you eat one, but like I could have burned you there. This guy's insane, and the concern I have with the speed is absolutely paramount now. I think I lose. What an insane play. Who goes for that? Like, that, that protect was dumb. I will... I will own up to that. Who goes for that there? Uh, this guy's Sand Rush, actually. What am I saying? This guy's Sand Rush. He's on a Sand team. Yeah, yeah that's probably why he boosted so much, is he realized that this guy beat him. Oh, boy. This is very dicey now, though. I don't know really what I'm going to do with that Mel Metal besides my own. Uh, he should be doing... I don't know what he's clicking here. If I'm hitting a Mew turning. This guy insists on attacking. I think I gotta get a wish off here. Now this guy's really low because he's definitely swapping to one of these dudes next. If he hits Shadow Balls again, okay, okay. Relax. Uh, how much did that last Shadow Ball do? 23, I could Volt Switch onto the Dragon Bolt and get Clef in, but then he'll just, then he forfeits out of the blue. I thought he was in a great position. Why did he forfeit? Huh. Okay, that's kind of unsatisfying, to be honest. I mean, I'll take the win, don't get me wrong. Um, okay, that's going to do it, everyone. Thanks for watching. Uh, I will make some edits, and I will not have such a perilous, long, <laughs> brutal game like that again, I try. If I'll, I'll do my best. Uh, so take care, take it easy.